Hi beauties and curls, welcome back, it's Melissa Q. Today's video is going to be another face full of impressions, so let's jump right into so it. I actually have been doing this. This is called my bi-weekly beat. I do it on Snapchat and also Instagram Live. I am going to be trying some new products and I also, uh, bi-weekly beat is basically where I pick out the products it's helped me out so, so much, especially when I'm in a rush in the morning to already know what I'm going to pick up. So I actually have some brushes. I have some face stuff that I want to try. And yeah, I'm also doing like products, using products in my hair. And I just recently discovered the Garnier Whole Blends. This is the Legendary Olive. It's silicone free, no way down. I actually have it in my hair right now. I did a twist out and it actually smoothed out my hair a lot too. So I really, really do enjoy this. I think this is one of my favorite um one of my current favorite leave-ins from the drugstore and it's a replenishing leave-in conditioner so with dry hair i definitely need this i think if you have high porosity hair because it's no way down and it's it's a replenishing leave-in i highly recommend this i have not tried the shampoo and conditioners but you'll probably see a full review on this product so let's go ahead and start moisturizing our face um i am starting off with I've been using this lately, this moisturizer, so let's try something else. The first thing I'm going to use is this Origins. This is a skin luminizing moisturizer. I'm going to use this and I'm going to mix this with an SPF. Y'all know I am serious about my SPF, especially, I don't know if you all know this, but like moles and stuff like that are hereditary in my family, like moles and freckles and age spots. This is the Jouer Conditioning Lip Treatment. I've been trying this this past week. Oh my goodness. I love this. I heard that this is one of their best sellers. But if you wear liquid lipsticks, get this. I'm serious. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is this Mega Defense. This is SPF 45. This is also from Origins. I'm going to leave everything down below that I'm using, by the way. I'm going to mix this. I don't need a mirror for this. And the reason why my nails are bare is because I'm going and using a new polish. And it's from a brand called Law Beauty Essential. It's 100% vegan and toxin free. I think I may use this. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this right here is not leaving my skin moisturized enough, I feel like. Yeah. I'm going in with the MAC. This is the Natural Radiance Base Massage. Um, I've used this before, so nothing new. But this is a moisturizing. It gives radiance, but it's also moisturizing, so that's why I'm going in with it. If you have dry skin and you need like a moisturizing slash radiance type of primer, that's a good one. Let's use, let's try the Amazing Cosmetics Concealers. I've tried one without the primer. I want to try it with the eye primer. This is their eye primer. That's how it looks. It has like a little, oh, I love that. It's like a cooling sensation. <gasps> I like this. Now this product was sent to me. It's doing some blurring though, y'all. Ooh, do y'all see that? I need to do, okay. This I'm gonna do a review on because my before and after just right now, You, this is me using it for the first time. Okay, we're going in. This is the Amazing Cosmetics. This is the Illuminizing one. And I'm telling y'all, I have been like stopping my foundation right here because I feel like sometimes even when I place powder I kind of get like cake face and I haven't been liking that so I have been stopping my foundation like right at the cheek okay I can tell you right now that I'm loving this. 
As you can tell, I didn't even use a color corrector. And this is the illuminizing one, Illuminate. Y'all, like that blended so well with a doe foot by itself that I feel like I really don't need to do too much blending. I'm just gonna take this Artiste brush, the dupe. Oh my Lord, I love that. I love that. Whoa. I feel like the primer. Oh, wow. Okay. If this lasts, that under eye, the under eye part lasts, that's a repro. That's set the under eye. I don't like setting the under, leaving that too. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. This is the Sheer Perfecting Powder, Candle Sheer Perfecting Powder. I have it in number three. I wanted it light enough where if I wanted to go under my eye, that I could. So let's see how this works. And that's how that looks. I have used this on my face, over my entire face, and I like it a lot, a lot. Uh, this would be a repurchase for me and I feel like I'm liking it under the eye because I don't like a super matte under eye to be honest with you I feel like I might need to go a shade lighter if I want to brighten the under eye but I'm liking or it, it kind of balances out I'm taking that over my eyelid too y'all I am going to use it over my whole face. So let's use it over my whole face. This is an It Cosmetics brush. This is an airbrush powder and bronzer brush. So I'm just going to press it into the skin. I feel, oh, I love my skin on this. Y'all, I think we got a winner. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use, I feel like that this Mally shade, I'm not going to be able to use this because I was going to use this, but I, it feels more like a cream. It feels like a cream, and I just powdered my face, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to use, if I can get it out, this Pure Mineral Glow. Uh, no, Bare Minerals, what is this? They're like mineral brush. You can use it for mineral, like packing your minerals. Y'all, oh, I like that. It like gives like a gold sheen. I love kind of like the less is more look lately. So let's use this Aluna highlighter. Stippling brush by, what is this? What brush is this? Wet n Wild. Okay, I don't know if I got a dud or whatever, but this thing sheds like crazy and I don't like it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I like this highlighter. It's a different kind of color than I'm used to. Okay, I think I'm going to get another Wet n Wild brush because I'm going to tell you, it picks up a good amount of product, which I like. I'm going to go back and just blend those two together. I don't even know if I want to wear blush today. I love the glow. Go glow, girl. I mean, this brush picked up a good amount of product, which I love. I just don't like the fact. Okay. 
been loving that um, new highlighter. Kind of scared about this, y'all. This is the NYX three brow pencil. I didn't want to give up on it. Let's try it one more time. This better not jack up my brows, y'all. I'm gonna be highly like upset for real, for real. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the brow pencil part. This is not the part that like I don't like. This part I feel like is like kind of like okay. Joseph is in that like screen to get what I want type of mode. I think that the formula is kind of streaky. Do y'all see that? Okay, I, I'm not gonna use this. This is just gonna make me upset. This is going back. They tried it with this and the uh, Makeup Forever, but the Makeup Forever. And it's the right kind of dark shade. What I do is use this on the tail, which is, this is my black from ColourPop. And I actually like the color pop way better than that next. I am going to use some other shadows though. Let me use some that I got. I'm gonna use, let's use beaches and cream over the whole lid. My makeup geek. I think I'm just gonna use two shadows today. And I'm gonna take, what is this? I wanna say this is an Ofra shadow. I have no idea, cause they don't put the names. I wish they put the names on the back, but I'm gonna use this. I've really been loving this in my crease. And their shadows are really smooth. Like really easy to actually apply. So. Let's use MAC Peaches. This is in a project pan of mine, which means that I'm trying to use it up in 2017. Ooh, that's pretty. I love taking my blush and sand sandwiching it between the bronzer and the highlight. To me, kind of like sandwich them perfect. Where it's not too much of any shade. I'm loving this y'all. I'm definitely it's gonna come with the review, but this is definitely one of my favorites of February. I've used it a couple of times and like I can't put it down and I like to like rotate my stuff, but I can tell that I really like it for that reason. Okay, and then I need a mascara. I've been really, really loving this Bella Pierre Voluminous Lash. Like for real, for real. Like there's two um ones that the Pacifica, the Dream Big. Oh, oh my goodness like that one gives me length for days but I've really been enjoying this one the the tip is kind of bent which I really appreciate I should have did like a wing liner just to go with the retro look but too late not really, but I just don't want to do it. Don't worry, y'all. Um, mascara always does that to me. So I think this formula is still just kind of wet too. But I wanted to try it anyway. But I tend to like my mascaras dry. Drier. Like opening it up. And after maybe about a week and a half. That's when like... The mascara is like really good because it's like a drier formula. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute, put on my lips, and then take the mascara off. That's kind of like what I do. Okay, let's go in with a new lippy. This is from Jouer. This is Petal de Rose. Do I want to use Petal de Rose? Yes. This smells so good.
This is a sample from Generation Beauty. Oh, that lip and hands are so good. This reminds me of Slow Burn a lot. That I like of uh, Marc Jacobs, Slow Burn. I would go in with a, a different eyeshadow to cover it up, which is what I might do. Let's do that. We're going smoky today. That's it. So I'm just going to take a flat brush and go into like, Ofra has this pretty bronze shade right here that I have been loving. So we're just going to do smoky today. And I'm just gonna. Oh, I know what I need to do with this mascara. You need to like this mascara needs to be like almost dry before you expl uh, apply a different another coat. This is it. This um I'm doing. I did like a face full of impressions, but some of these I tried already. So I'm glad that I was able to give you guys a good review, kind of like a mini review. Of these I don't like the NYX three-in-one brow that that's going back for sure um, everything else I think I really liked that amazing cosmetics oh. the Ofra shadows I wish had a name on the back because I want to repurchase these but I need to know the names like this one the champagne and I use this one. I really like those three. And it came in a boxy charm, so I really like those. These two are makeup geek. This one is Beaches and Cream, and I want to say this one is glamorous. Yes, I haven't tried this one yet. But um, that came from Ipsy. That one is a Urban Decay color. But I really am enjoying boxy charm. Now I'm gonna do my nails. I am gonna post probably a picture on Instagram showing this. I'm gonna use this and I, I'm gonna use the Ciate top coat and I will um, let you guys know in this video what I thought about it right under, um, while I'm talking about it right now, what I thought about the Law Beauty Essentials and the Ciate top coat because I got that, I wanna say, in last month's Ipsy bag. So yeah, I still need to try that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this face full of impressions, the leave-in conditioner that I told you about that I'm coming with a full review and also the other products that I use on my face. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of video. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see you in the next video.